Let's talk about the coxofemoral joint. And the coxofemoral joint is the articulation between two bones, the femur and the coxal bone. And specifically, the two articulating surfaces are the acetabulum on the coxal bone and the head of the femur in the, uh, on the femur. Remember here in the lab, the required um, uh, um, items that you need to know about articulations are just the articulating surfaces and the movements. The detail of the articulation, the classification, and all of that is covered on the lab, on the lecture. So, <clears throat> remember that since these, the acetabulum is a deeper socket than the glenoid cavity and uh, the head of the femur can fit perfectly and uh, can be held in place better than the glenoid cavity does with the, um, with the head of the humerus. Given to this, uh, that fact gives to this joint uh, more stability. This is way more stable than the humeral, uh, glenohumeral joint, but of course is less movable. We still can perform the movements of, in the anterior plane, this is flexion, extension on the anatomical position, hyperextension. And also on the frontal plane, we have abduction or abduction, and towards the midline, adduction with the two Ds. We can also rotate following the, uh, the, um, the transverse plane. We can rotate the bone medially, medial rotation, and laterally, the lateral rotation. Look what it happens, medially and laterally. Um, and of course, we can also perform circumduction, which is, remember, is a, just a combined movement. Is flexion, abduction, extension, adduction. Um, let me show you these movements in this slide. If you haven't, please, I really encourage you to go and watch on chapter 9 the movements, how they are performed, and how do you name them. Uh, these, actually, this joint, the hip joint or the coxofemoral joint, moves. The femur moves your thigh, doesn't move the leg, just the thigh, okay? So it flexes, extends, and all of those movements. So it flexes the femur or, your, or the thigh at the hip joint. That's the proper way to say it. Flexion of the thigh uh, at the hip joint. Extension of the thigh at the hip joint hyperextension of the thigh at the hip joint, and so forth. Um, so that's what I put in here. Movements of the thigh at the hip joint is in this joint where the movements are happening. So remember, we have flexion. You reduce the angle between your thigh and your trunk. It's the anterior movement. The opposite movement, actually, this is not extension. Extension is this one the one in anatomical position. When you pass posteriorly the anatomical position, you call that hyperextension. Then you have the next pair is abduction and adduction. So abduction, remember, taking away, I am abducting you. So um, is the lateral movement away, away from the midline, opening your legs or your thighs, that's a B, a B duction, a B duction, and the opposite movement towards your uh, towards the midline, closing your thigh. That's a duction. Then <clears throat> I don't get. I don't want you to get confused with the next uh, set of movements: medial and lateral rotation at the hip. It's not that you're going to move your ankle. It's not happening, the movement is not happening at the ankle, it's medial and lateral, no. What we're doing in here is moving the hip joint, okay? So place your, your hands on your hip at the coxal femoral articulation 
and you will feel the medial and lateral rotation. The medial rotation is trying to move uh, <clears throat> your toes pointing medially, but the movement again is happening at the hip joint and moving your toes away from the midline is the lateral rotation. And then the circumduction, I already explained that. This is again the same movement, but I just wanted to show you that the flexion of the thigh at the hip is this, is this anterior movement, regardless that the knee joint is extended, like in here, or is flexed, like in here, okay? So in here, we have flexion of the thigh and flexion of the leg at the hip and the knee joint, respectively. In the other one, we just have flexion at the hip, extension at the knee, okay? So isolate the movement or describe the movement per articulation, per joint. Don't mix them up. Um, and again, the same movements. Adduction to, towards the midline, uh, abduction or abduction towards the, or away from the midline, medial rotation pointing the toes towards the midline and lateral rotation away from the midline. Um, that's it. See you in the next video.